Okay Lisa, let's take a look how you've got on here. That is correct. 9,417 is correct. Two marks. Sum means add. Okay, so they're asking you to add the two numbers together. And it isn't going to be 128, is it? That's bigger than both numbers. Okay, it's 28. That's good. Two marks, so total for the page, five. <coughs> the square has got more than two lines of symmetry because it's also symmetrical about its diagonals. So it would have four lines. It would have those two, and it would also have a diagonal there and the diagonal there. Okay, so that's wrong, but you've correctly named your shape, so you'll get a mark there. Uh, here, you are implying to me that those are the same length, so it's an isosceles triangle, so that will be right. That's the word you're looking for, and it's a dash to show they're the same length, the arrows show that they're parallel and those aren't parallel but I won't penalize you for that so you get one mark for the shape no mark for the name that is correct and that is correct well done those are also correct here you've missed the important part of the question which tells you you've got two 20 pound notes so you've actually got 40 pound to play with your method is right but that should be 40, so you're going to get one out of the two marks there. A kettle has got a bigger volume than that. A can of Coke would be 330 millilitres. That's the thing to keep in your mind, because you're used to handling a can of Coke or soft drink. Um, so that's way too small. That's what we're looking for. The weight of your woman is just over half a tonne. So um, again, that's not going to be right. What you're looking for there is the 60 kilograms. That's too far way too far um, that is the distance approximately between London and Paris but you have got the area of the page correct so well done so out of the four marks there unfortunately you've only got one right total for the page one two four six eight <coughs> um, in the drum there are 50 tickets the, th the green and the yellow tickets are in the drum so the chances of you pulling the yellow seven are in fact one out of 50 not one out of 20. he's right because 16 could be chosen twice that's correct well then good explanation that's correct that's correct that's correct uh it's actually fallen okay because there are more pupils in year 11 than year seven when they were in year seven, there were a lot more of them than there were them and them and them and then. So every year, there are fewer students coming into the school. So you don't get the mark for that. So for the page two, three, four, six. <coughs> 27, 57 is correct. Uh, 53 is wrong um, you've got to subtract the 5 okay you're doing the right thing there doing the opposite of dividing is multiplying by 6 but then you have to do the opposite of uh, adding 5 which is subtracting 5 it's not 7h squared it's just 7h squaring if you're multiplying h's together that's correct well done that's correct you're timesing the x coordinate by four each time so that one there should be 4a 21 is correct but the units for volume are centimeters cubed so you lose the unit mark there 
um, you need to get yourself a protractor and sort out how to do that two three five six seven marks same there borrow one uh, watch my video make sure that you can deal with those questions there you mustn't be throwing away those marks that's correct well done and those are also correct good seven for the page Thirty miles is right. Um, this is wrong. It's wrong because it's asking how, how many minutes, and you've got hours and minutes. So seventy-five minutes should have been how you wrote your answer, but that would still be wrong because you've got the wrong number of minutes per square. What we're doing here is we're going from uh, one hour to the next sixty minutes in ten squares. So each little square is going to be six minutes okay so that's going to be wrong that is good and this is also wrong um, he arrived from here which is two little squares before 1600 which would be 12 minutes before four o'clock which isn't what you've got there um, one hour 54 minutes is correct well done for that and the best thing I can suggest you do is take a look how I've done that on the video clip. So for the page, you have got four marks. Again, watch what I've done there. As a percentage, one fifth would be 20. So three fifths is 60. Excellent. Good explanation. Seven twelfths is good. Oh, and that's fantastic, well done. Nobody else has got that one right yet. So uh, good on you for that. That is correct. And that is correct. And this one, what you need to do here is look at, if that was 0 0.5, it would be half. So you're trying to find something which is roughly a half of 120, which is 60. So your answer for that one is actually the same as that one. Total for the page, nine, good. 10, sorry. 10, excellent. Uh, okay, lines of best fit. You have correctly potted your points. You correctly said it's a positive correlation, uh, but your line of best fit is shocking. It's got to be a line, and yours isn't a line, it's a bit of a curve. So it needs to be a straight line. And it needs to be a line that lies in the general direction that your points are taking. So I would say it doesn't have to go through any of the points. Um, something like that would be what you're looking for with a line of best fit. But using your curve, 320, you're actually getting the right answer for your data. What I would suggest to you is that in the exam, you actually mark that on your graph using a ruler. So again, have a look at what I've done on the video clip and it, it makes it clear what you're trying to do. Uh, that's good. It needs to be exactly on that line, but I can see what you're doing. So you get your three marks for that. Well done for that. That's correct as well. Um, as these questions are getting harder, you're actually doing better. So uh, that's really encouraging. Five, seven, nine for the page. That one is correct as well, so that's good. This one is correct. Uh, this one, you've put too many folds in. You've actually taken that one now and you've started folding it again. So it's the two diagonals that we want. Um, I'll give you the one mark because they're there, but I'll have to take one mark off for the extra folds that you shouldn't have. This work is known as loci. Okay, if you go onto the Jones of Sum site, there are two clips for loci, one showing you how to create them and one for practicing. Have a look, see if you can make sense of it. Five marks for the page. And finally, that one's wrong and that one's wrong. Uh, we will be doing a lot of practice of that fairly soon, so don't worry too much for now about that. So Lisa, total for the paper is five, three, five, six, seven, eight, 
13, 19, 26, 33, 37, 47, 56, 61. 61 is a grade D for that paper. If I include the paper that you first did last week where you got 40 out of 100, overall if this was your exams you would have 101 out of 200 which would be a grade E. So overall a grade E but a big improvement on this paper to the one you did for homework. So you keep improving like that and you're going to be flying a C very quickly. Well done, Lisa.